for my enjoyment and to get through this, I've been reading. And I don't necessarily read nonfiction. I read fiction because I need to kind of escape from what this reality is. And so I often find myself reading fiction. And usually young adult fiction actually has been really helpful for me lately. Ironically, the first book that I'm <laughs> recommending is my, a nonfiction book that I just read recently um, called White Rage by Carol Anderson. And it's uh, the history of systemic racism in this country. It starts back in the Civil War time period and it goes through President Obama's election. And I just think it's a really important read, particularly for people of privilege, to kind of challenge the way that you think about the world um, that we live in. And the second book I'm going to recommend today is also um, kind of a somber topic, but I found that it was one that kind of brought me hope. And it's one that I read recently called The Tattooist of Auschwitz by Heather Morris. Um, and it's about a Jewish man who actually volunteered to jump on the train, not knowing where he was going. Um, and he ended up being a prisoner of Auschwitz concentration camp and he ended up being the tattooist. Uh, so the person when people came into the camp, he was the one that tattooed their numbers on their arms. And I recommend it because despite its difficult topic, it was really a story that brought me hope um, and talked about ingenuity and perseverance and really kindness during a really, really difficult time in our history. And so that's why I recommend it to you. Even though that the doors of the library are still closed physically, we're available to you online as we always have been. So all you need to do is go to our website. Our services are still available. You can chat with us online every day of the week. Those hours are on our website. And also you can still meet with a librarian. While we can't meet face to face, we can do it virtually, which is, something I have found joy in these recent weeks, um, talking to students via Zoom and checking in and seeing how they're doing as well as helping them with their studies. From the library staff, we are excited to see your faces again and we look forward to seeing you once again soon.